Hmm. You caught me cogitating. I love teaching people to grow mushrooms. You know that by now. And my goal is to put together the world's simplest mushroom grow kit for beginners. Um, so, I want it to be as simple as possible so that people can harvest their first mushrooms. Then they're wizards. They have confidence. They can decide do they want to spend more money on a tent that can control humidity and temperature, some of the variables. Or, okay, that was great. Did it once. Don't want to do it again. Um, so, you know, I want to keep costs down. I want to keep especially all the steps down. Because every step you add for a beginner is a chance for a beginner to mess up, right? Because we, we haven't done it before. Um, so a casing layer. Uh, in the, This might be video 12 and a half of our 12 part grow series. But um, video six was an optional casing layer. I'd like your thoughts. I'd like your comments. Um, I think this might actually become part of the kit because it does introduce possibilities of contamination. But also, since we don't have tents to control humidity and temp, a casing layer, it really can help control humidity. I've been struggling. It's, it's been a back and forth winter in Salt Lake. I'm in an old building that it's infuriating how it's, it's struggling to maintain a, maintain a constant temperature. So my temperatures have been all over the place. So, you know, to this tub, I said, okay, I'm going to half the tub, I'm going to add a casing layer. So you can see it's a little darker right here down the middle. Um, it was just a slight little casing. I was moving spawn to a tub, had a little substrate left over. So I figured, okay, I only have enough to barely do half, so I'm going to do that. We'll see if there's any difference. Uh, looks like there's a bit of a difference. So over here, you know, we're going to have some mushrooms. But this tub, it obviously is struggling, right? And so it's cranking out a lot of mycelium, but that mycelium isn't strong, healthy, happy enough to produce many mushrooms. So here where it had the casing layer, just controlling the humidity, that little amount, you know, much, well, it, it's going to have a, a good first harvest and um, it's going to be set up for a good second flush too, maybe even a third flush. This is obviously... This is night and day. I don't need to explain that. You can see it. So, would love your thoughts and comments. I think that the world's simplest mushroom grow kit might add another step. Um, you know, casing layer, you would just pasteurize it, let it cool, and then put it on top to help control humidity. So, this might be step 12 and a half of our 12-part series.